Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to talk about this very rare mercury vapor bulb by a brand that I can't really pronounce, an ASAC or something, I have no idea. Um, it's a band from Charleroi in Belgium and yeah I had to search all this information up since this is not a very well known brand. And it has a, a depicting as a under 25 watt mercury vapor bulb inside. But yeah, first let's first take a look at the packaging, um, which we have the logo printed on it with the name printed on it um, and some other bulbs. This is um, sodium, a low price sodium bulb, I think, the old version, and some mercury vapor. So that makes it so that it looks like an old packaging, and it's probably a very old packaging. So very vaguely, we have the um, name of the bulb, which is. Let me take a look. LFB under 25 watts, um, which is probably mercury vapor, like Philips calls their bulbs. HPLN, this is probably that the same thing, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I, we got this in a um, antique store, which is a very nice find, because I think this is an extremely rare bulb. And it's in also it's also in a pretty good condition. So let's take the bulb out. Don't want to ruin the packaging or anything. So yeah, this is um, the bulb. So let's compare it real quick to a Philips one. Um, size and stuff are the same. That's probably uh, permitted to be the same, but the bases are different. Also, I've no, I'm noticing that this one is a bit heavier than this one. That's probably because this glass is a lot thicker than uh, the glass from the Philips one is. But besides that, they look the same. Also, the insides aren't very different. They probably run around the same concept. Both with an E27 and... On here, which is in a very good condition, we have again their name, the bulb, and some type of number. I don't know what it refers to. Maybe that someone from Belgium can tell me. So, yeah, the packaging, the bulb, and let's uh, get a fixture for it and then let's test it. I had to wire the old fixture. <laughs> But yeah, it's wired now, and let's take the mercury vapor 80 watt out, and let's put the bulb we are talking about in. So yeah, let's uh, try it out. Nice pink start, a bit messy, but that's fine. So yeah, I said that I got this bulb at an antique store and um, the owner of the store actually bought a whole bulb collection from someone that passed away that also collected light bulbs. So. He had some yeah, light bulbs and yeah, we uh, pretty much bought those. We made a pretty good deal. I think we bought like uh, 50 bulbs for 50 euros and all kinds of r rare bulbs, all kinds of different bulbs. I don't know if that's the way I want my collection to end. Uh, I would prefer <laughs> if I pass away, my collection is going, will be given to a different collector or something, but that's... Yeah, Let's hope that doesn't happen soon. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not too bright yet, but it's still warming up, I think. It's a bit more blue than the uh, other mercury vapor bulbs. It's a bit of a difference. I don't know if that's a UV light. If so, then... Um, you already know what I wanted to do with my collection when I pass away. Um, 
but yeah, let's hope that that's not the case. Yeah, it's definitely less bright than most 125 watt mercury vapor bulbs, but I'll show the light that it gives. See, it's not very bright. So that was the light bulb, the mercury vapor bulb. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.